Welcome to another brutally honest video where I'm putting Teespring and Redbubble head to head. This video has been long sought after and I decided to finally make it. I'm going to be comparing every feature that they have or most features that they have and I'm going to be telling you at the end of this video which I think is better. But before we get started, in my last video I did a giveaway of $25 like a, a, a whatever and it's now time to pick a random comment from that video so let's just quickly go and pick that comment. And we have a winner. So this winner, obviously I picked them before I shot this video, but I messaged them on Instagram. I messaged them on, on YouTube to say you won. I messaged them on Instagram to tell them that they had won and they were an absolute saint. They said, it's okay, you can pick someone else. It's a bit complicated to send me the money because of the country I'm in. And I was like, no, no, you won. I'll figure out a way to get it to you. And he was like, it's really, really okay, don't worry. So I said, you know what? If you don't want it, I'm gonna give it to a charity in your name just because he had rightfully won and I didn't feel comfortable picking someone else. Don't worry, one of you will win the next one hopefully, but this one I decided to donate it to a charity that helped young entrepreneurs build businesses and have the knowledge to build businesses. I thought that was quite a fitting charity for this channel. So thank you very much. You are, like I said, a saint and I appreciate, I appreciate you, your honesty and I appreciate you just not being really money hungry and just wanting the money no matter what and saying just go and give it to someone else. Um, it's pretty good. Anyway, let's just get right on with this video. I just wanna say if you haven't already subscribed, my name is Shibby Morris. I make YouTube videos on print on demand, Amazon FBA, making money online, affiliate marketing, that kind of thing. And I just want to say, if you haven't already subscribed, I'm trying to get to 100,000 and you can help me do that. And all you have to do is click the subscribe button. It doesn't take any effort or cost you any money. And once you've hit that subscribe button, let's just get on with the video comparing Teespring and Redbubble's print-on-demand platforms. I've got notes on my computer here just because I'm comparing a lot of things and I wanted to make sure I was absolutely accurate with it. So the things I'm going to be comparing, I'm going to be putting these two companies head-to-head -head in t-shirt prices, in t-shirt quality, in shipping prices, in the website look as a seller and as the customer, the ease of creating a shirt, and do they give you templates or a design platform to actually build the shirt, what types of products they offer, and how good the reporting of sales is. So. Now that we've figured out what we're gonna be talking about, let's start with the t-shirt price. The t-shirt price, well, finding out the base cost, the base cost for a Redbubble t-shirt was actually quite complicated and a lot of effort. I had to actually go and create a t-shirt, add it to my basket, because I don't have to pay the extra cost, I just have to pay base cost, and that's how I was able to find out how much an individual shirt costs. And it came out at £12.82. pence. Now, I'm in the UK here, so again, this video is going to be more targeted to UK people, but dollar equivalent, you can always just work that out. So, a classic t-shirt costs £12.82 on Redbubble, and on Teespring, a classic t-shirt is around $10.57, which is about £8.44. Now, you can get pricing discounts with Teespring, which is really cool. The more you sell, and, and you can see from the screen here, the more you sell, the larger discounts you can get, and they can end up being a, quite a hefty discount. So that's a really, really good incentive to sell more with Teespring. Now, I just have to make something incredibly clear, and this is what I mean when I say I'm gonna be brutally honest in this video. Um, I'm gonna tell you both companies are charging a ridiculous amount of money for the base cost of these t-shirts. And I don't care what any of you say about, oh, but it's their cost and it's, it's the, it cost them this much and they have these many fees. No, I'm sorry, when you're charging 12 pounds or eight pounds for a base t-shirt, that is ridiculous on every single level. And like, I don't even wanna, I, I wasn't gonna talk about the quality in this section, but the quality for these t-shirts, the, for what they cost, is shocking. I buy my Ralph Lauren t-shirts for around 15 pounds, okay? And we're talking about a base cost, classic, crappy Teespring or Redbubble t-shirt costing a 10 to 12 pound base cost. Ugh, it just annoys me how expensive it is. And what's even worse is the company I use when I bulk buy t-shirts and sell them, right? I use Monster Press and for the highest quality t-shirt, it's about four pounds. Okay, and that's their highest quality. If I go for the same kind of quality as Teespring, you're looking at £2.50, 
All right, and that is the cost of what it should really be. Anyway, now that we've discussed that, let me just quickly say the quality, right? The quality of both t-shirts. I don't know the quality of Redbubble. I've never owned a Redbubble t-shirt. I have owned quite a few Teespring t-shirts because I used to buy my own, um, I used, before they had all these cool mock-ups, I used to buy my own t-shirts when I was selling them. I also bought a jumper for my sister. And let's just say the jumper fell apart in the wash. Um, the seams came loose. It was just terrible. It was comfy, but it was terrible quality. And the t-shirts were like itchy. They, they, they weren't soft. They weren't, oh no, they were just not nice. I'm sorry, they were not nice. And it wouldn't surprise me if Redbubble t-shirts are pretty much the same because these people probably get them all from the same place. Right, let's move on to shipping price. Okay, and by the way, at the end of this video, I will give an, an overview comparison and I'll tell you which one I think is the best. But in terms of who won for uh, for base cost, for t-shirt base cost, I would say Teespring won just because it's slightly cheaper. I know the quality is also not bad, not good, but the, it is slightly cheaper and you have that incentive of being able to sell lots and eventually pay even less for a base price, which just goes to show Right, which just goes to show if they're able to take four dollars off a base price, it should never have been ten in the first place. So just just give us the best base price you can. Don't screw over your sellers, Teespring. Right, let's move on to shipping price. Well, shipping price in the UK, because I'm I'm in the UK, so that's what I can see. In the UK, shipping came at it came out at three pounds sixty and a handling fee of seventy-eight pounds that was for Teespring right so that's a total of £4.38 for one t-shirt on Teespring now you have to note if you want to add multiple t-shirts to your basket you would be charged multiple shipping costs again what the hell Teespring this makes no sense I've made a whole video on this you go check it out up there if you want but £4.38 for shipping one t-shirt <sighs> I feel like this is going to be one big rant. Um, okay, and Redbubble shipping cost ended up being £4.79, which is just slightly more. Now, again, I want to just give you an overview of shipping costs, right? Both companies are charging an, a ridiculous amount for shipping, okay? And again, before anyone says, oh no, but it costs this much to ship and it is actually not that bad, I have personally gone to a post office and shipped t-shirts out to people i know exactly how much it can cost and including buying a shipping packet you're looking at spending no more than one pound fifty so the fact that they're charging over four pounds for shipping right that is ludicrous absolutely ludicrous and i feel like at every angle they're trying to screw us over i'm just gonna go and get some water Okay, so moving on now that we've discussed shipping cost and the base price for a t-shirt, let's look at the website look. So, you know, the overview look as a seller and as a buyer. So first, I just want to quickly say I've got no affiliation with any of these two companies and I don't want you to think I'm being biased to one or towards the other. I will give you my overview opinion at the end. So in terms of website look, Teespring, I have to say the platform looks just a lot more user friendly. You can see from these screenshots and these videos that it just looks a lot nicer and it kind of reminds me of like, and don't hate me for this, but Apple and Android. Okay, so I think it's fair to say, look, I'm not against any either of the users, but Apple devices are a lot more simple easy to use and they look more sleek android devices are brilliant and they're packed with features and they're amazing but they can be slightly more complicated for the user and there's nothing wrong with either two devices they're both brilliant do not get into it android uh, apple battle in the comments please <laughs> so what i'm saying is i find with teespring it's kind of like apple it's very very basic and user friendly and there's not much you can do but it's super super simple to use and i found with redbubble the user experience was truly shocking it's complicated it's a mess it's just it's difficult it's uh, the amount of different themed they, themes they had when you click dashboard it shows me one kind of dashboard and when i click a section in the dashboard it shows me another type of the same dashboard the same information but it displayed in a different format and then i click it again another format you can see from the screenshot what i'm talking about and it's just i found it very very overcomplicated. and for a newbie who is trying to figure out how to sell print on demand i would just feel like incredibly overwhelmed from from this okay so that's as a seller as a buyer redbubble is pretty good right they they have a pretty good shop now of course any shop that has thousands of products is going to look a bit messy and 
that's fine because I mean they do look a bit messy with the amount of products that they offer but like I said they offer a lot of products so that's fine but I like the way that they sell their product the product pages are pretty good they've got the reviews on them it's, it's just quite a nice look teespring again it doesn't have nearly as many products so it just looks a lot neater it's a lot easier to scroll through and to find stuff and it's easy on the eyes and again the teespring product page is just a lot more simple a lot less messy a lot less busy right again they don't ut utilize the reviews very well but in terms of the shopper experience for the buyer i'd say redbubble take the win there but teespring is not bad it's it's pretty good it's just very very basic the ease of creating a shirt this is a big one because you don't want this to be a complicated process you just if you can't get if a company can't get this right what are you doing this is, should be the main focus for the company right just yeah anyway so red bubble okay this is blooming complicated to get a t-shirt created in Redbubble. You have to just for me figuring it out. I watched videos. I tried it. It's just it, it's a mess. Okay, it's a real mess. And I had to go and create a design. Once I created a design, I had to then and you'll see from these videos. I had to then. So once I created the design, I was then showed a whole bunch of options. I could do a title, description, that kind of stuff, tags, and then I was shown all the options that I want to tick if I want to include that design in my Redbubble shop, right? And then I had to go and edit each individual t-shirt and it was just messy and ugh, it was horrible, okay? It was just really, really horrible. And it was very off-putting in my opinion. At first I was like, have I created the design? I can't find it in my shop. What? And in my shop it's just a picture and then I click it and it shows me all the options. It just, no, 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 no. With Teespring, it's, very straightforward you've got this button at the top that says start a design or start designing right you go in you upload your design or you just use their templates and create a design and you just go through the steps and you get to a point when you finish your design and it's all done and it's just easy to follow it's good so yeah in terms of creating designs teespring 100 percent wins hands down okay in terms of templates Redbubble don't really have templates. They don't really have a, a design tool that can be used. You just have to upload designs, right, that you've made either in Photoshop, Canva, place it wherever you've made them. If, if you have a designer that makes them, Redbubble, you upload that design and then it can go on all the different products. With Teespring, you can actually create a design in their designer. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but it's a nice feature. And then as well as that, you can also upload your own design. Right, who sells more? What's What do they sell? Shirts, socks, mugs, wallpapers? Well, Redbubble definitely, definitely take the win here. They sell a far more stuff than Teespring. They sell so many different items that you, like it's ridiculous how many items they sell. Now Redbubble does seem a lot bigger than Teespring, so that's that's understandable. But yes, they sell a lot more. They've got a lot more categories and you can see they've got a lot more categories than Teespring. So there's that, okay? Teespring do sell quite a lot and it's enough, but if you really wanna go crazy, then yeah, Redbubble sell a lot more. Now, in terms of reporting, I'm going to have to give the win to Teespring again, just because it looks so fluid, it looks so nice, it's easy to work with. It's user-friendly, that is the word, I'm good. That's, that's the key word in this video, user-friendly. Now, this video sounds like I'm being quite biased towards Teespring, right? But I'm not, I'm just giving my honest opinion. I don't care if you go for Teespring, if you go for Redbubble, if you don't go for either of them, it doesn't make a difference to me. I'm just giving my own opinion and again, it's all opinions of what I feel about these two companies. Now, to prove what I'm saying is I'm going to suggest something for you. I'm going to suggest that you upload your designs to both Teespring and Redbubble because why put all your eggs in one basket? Why not spread your designs across multiple websites? The more websites have your designs, the more chance of you being able to actually get sales. So yes, upload your designs to Teespring and yes, upload your designs to Redbubble because you can 100%, I've got an annoying hair in my face. You can 100% get sales in both companies. So why not spread yourself? However, if you are, if, if you were to pick just one and you were just adamant about picking one, Personally, I would pick Teespring just because the base price is cheaper, it's easy to use, especially for a newbie, it's just easy to get started and set up with. But like I said, I do recommend you using both. Right, anyway, both. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below which you prefer, which one would you pick if you could only pick one, Redbubble 
or Teespring or neither, right? A lot of people are saying they're selling on Etsy. That's quite interesting. And I'm currently doing research on Etsy because I know you want to see some Etsy videos. So let me know in the comments down below. And finally, if you liked this video, you will like this video where I talk to you about creating a Shopify store and when is the time to create a Shopify store for your print on demand business, right? Because don't just create one straight away. There's a perfect time to do it. So go check that out.